YouTube. Okay. That's how the title. Life is about relationships. You know, I always talk about this. And uh, I think it is important to... I, well, I feel like I'm going to go ahead and expound on that. So, <clears throat> people sometimes get caught up in... Now, listen, I want, I want to say this first. Some people are going to be alone. Some people, they can go into the middle of a woods and spend the rest of their life in the woods by themselves in a log cabin. But a lot of people are going to have relationships. And I always talk about relationships because I think... But one, what things, what people miss is when it comes to getting money. You know, we talked about this with about, uh, when I talk about men, you know, when everybody talks about men, just go get your money and don't worry about the women and blah, 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 blah. I kind of want to go into anybody. When it comes to getting money, I'm not saying don't go get it. When it comes to making money, I'm not saying go, don't go make money. What I am trying to say is that I think we miss the point when we always gravitate trying to make money over anything to where even where we would corrupt ourselves to do it. You know, um, like when I say, you know, some people who would do OnlyFans just to make money, even though they know, they know they have to give up a part of themselves, they'll do it anyway because in the end they get money. And I always try to sway it against that because one, y'all know how I feel about that industry, but nonetheless, what is the point of having all this money if you are ruining relationships, Right. If you're giving a piece of your body away all the time, then you're not going to get to share it with that special person, right? Because you're always giving it away. And that kind of industry is going to take a toll on your mind, your mental health. We see it all the time. But moving forward, even people who want to go get their money the old fashioned way, well, not old fashioned, but people who want to go get their money another way. Let's say you want to be a live streamer. Let's say you want to be a YouTuber. Let's say you want to go work a nine to five at a corporate office. You want to be an administrator or whatever, right? And you get all this money. It's cool to make money. We live in a, where, where we live, where I live in America, you, it's a capitalist world. So yes, you're going to have to make money in order to survive. Nothing wrong with that. But there's no point of chasing all this money and never getting, oh man. There's no point of chasing all this money and getting all this money to have nobody to spend it with to have nobody to hang out with, to have nothing to do with anybody. Because some people may say, you know, I don't ever want to get married. I just want to focus on making money and blah, blah, blah. And that's cool. Not everybody's going to be married. But if you think that money can replace relationships, it can't. You're not going to be able. What's the point of making all this money if you have nobody to spend it on? You have all this money, but have nobody to spend it with. You know what I mean? I understand the pursuit of money, but I don't understand the pursuit of money to burn relationships. I think... What a lot of people think is what happens is people have got caught up in the scamming and the Wolf of Wall Street. And y'all saw what happened to the guy. Uh, uh, I forgot his name. Something with a Hellcat. The guy who just got arrested and got five years. Right. He had all this money, all this money from scamming and doing all this cable work. Oh, it's Omi. Omi with a Hellcat. He had all this money all this money, all the fancy cars, and people were like, oh man, he's so awesome, he's so great, but he was stealing, right? He was taking something that some other people had to pay for and made it into his own thing. But people were just gassing him up because he had the cars, he had the money, he had the beautiful wife, he had all this, blah, 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 blah. And now he's got to, now he lost everything and he's gonna have to spend five years in prison, right? What if he didn't have all that money, but he had a beautiful wife still, or he had a, a I had a, had a wife, had kids, but he wasn't making, he wasn't making all this money from scamming. He was making $60,000 a year and they were making just fine to be able to go on a vacation maybe twice a year and be able to do just normal things. But they live life working nine to fives and all that. You don't think that his life could have been just as wholesome. I'm not saying you can't be rich. I'm not saying that, but to say that it, being rich replaces relationships. If you like people think that if you want, if you corrupt yourself to go get money, you corrupt yourself to go get all these things that it replaces what a it replaces making less money and having a great relationship with someone or something you know s s people around you and making it like making a difference in your community versus i'm just rich i just like to throw my money in people's faces and show you how much money i got man life is really gonna suck if you don't live for relationships it's another thing i want to talk about is 
and this is more kind of more on the women's side, but it can be very well the man's side. Like a woman who wants to get with a man who has money, has nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with security. But to want to get with a man for just travel sake, you want to travel around the world, you want to do all this kind of stuff. So you hope you pass up certain men because you just want this lifestyle that you think is going to fulfill you. But really, at the end of the day, having a relationship with a good man will be just as good. I, I, I don't understand that. Like some women would rather be alone than to be with a man who makes average money. Even though them, they themselves aren't like that. You know what I mean? And even men, women who do make money, they'd rather be with this guy, that guy, instead of being with an average man who makes average money just for the lifestyle. And I understand it. Not every guy can provide you that lifestyle. But is it that important to be able to travel all the time? Is it that important to be able to go on vacation all the time, to be able to do everything all the time? Is that better than having a relationship with somebody? No, it's not. Like, it's not going to replace that. You could travel all amongst the world and do all these things, but at the end of the day, it is going to be nice to have somebody to come home with, to go through life with. And once again, I'm not saying that everybody's going to have somebody, but to, to choose a different life when you have the option to have a relationship is wild to me. And so when I see men chasing money and I see women chasing money, it's just wild because it's like, wow, you're really going to end up with nothing. And we got this, this, this industry industry we got the philosophy the red pill of f f women get money or f everything get money you know and women can be red pill too and it's like wow that's gonna lead to a sad and it's another thing because it's another thing because you get men who are like oh i'm gonna sleep with as many women as possible It's, it's gonna up my value it's gonna make me feel better about myself it won't there is a difference between sleeping with a bunch of women and getting your rocks off And just having sex with a bunch of women, even if they're beautiful, versus having a woman you can come home to every night, somebody you once again can go through life with, experience life with, with that one person. It's not the same. And people want to make it seem like having a bunch of beautiful women and having sex with them every night equates to having a wife. It doesn't. I don't care how much money you got. If you haven't spend it on multiples of women, versus spending it on one woman who's there for you no of course and here's the thing is I, I think people don't people like when a man thinks he wants to get married what he wants to do is get married to a robot right listen i'm not saying be in a toxic relationship but i am saying that getting into a relationship with a woman and getting married it's not going to be simple of course you're not going to have a, a woman that every woman falls into the same category they're going to cook clean have sex with you whenever you want it and it, they just fit every box y'all never get in arguments that's just a flat out lie that's not what love is love is more than just a feeling and you know love is going to be going through stuff there's going to be tragedies there's some things you're not going to be able to stop you know people go through miscarriages people go through uh people passing away your parents passing away your children you know you may get into some some accident and i'm not trying to say look at marriages that kind of stuff is going to happen but to be foolish enough to say that y'all aren't going to get into arguments and it's not gonna be hard times that's crazy but it's okay it, that's people get through it i mean that's what life is getting through it men always talk about making all this money and you got to get through the hard time you got to do the blood sweat and tears but they don't want to do that for marriage that first thought is well she can take all my money i, I have to get a prenup she can take everything why do you think about the worst outcome of course i'm not saying being dumb and don't think about it at all but it's like it's the same thing when when a woman gets in a relationship she thinks the man is going to be emotionally abusive why think the most first of all you do have to do your due diligence when you're dating but at the same time it's like you can't go into every relationship thinking the worst outcome is going to happen and here the kicker and i know this part is going to suck it may not work out the person may become that terrible thing you know and i pray that you know you can get out of it immediately but things do happen people do people are people there's no way for me to be able to tell you well if you go for this woman there's no way she's gonna turn there's no way you go for this man there's no way he's gonna turn there's no way he's gonna cheat on you there's no way she's gonna cheat on you i don't know we don't know that's why you go into it not think about those things you go in there thinking about the best possible outcome growing old together having children building a family is it always going to work out is somebody going to cheat sometimes they're going to be is there going to be times where there's abuse and stuff like that Uh, yes i was fortunate to watch now y'all know my biological parents were drug addicts 
but I grew up in a foster, I grew up with foster parents, both black, and I got to see them married my whole life, and they're still married today. So I got to see the better outcome. I got to at least see a 30 year marriage, even if they got divorced. It was still beautiful to see a 30 year marriage last this long, right? A 30 year marriage is still a 30 year marriage of spending one, all your time with one person and building a life with one person. They have, how many grandkids do they have now? What, six? They have six, two more. I think they have probably 15, 16 grandchildren now. They got to build this whole community. Just them two got to build a, another family of 16 grandchildren. Is my one of my one of the grandchildren is old enough to have a kid now. So imagine that growing a big family of all of us. If you put all of us together, what are we a family of thirty from two people, right? Even though they're my foster, but the rest of them are, are all part of the family, you know. And even I'm still part of the family technically, but you know, it's like still a family of thirty people based off one relationship that worked. Built all this. Right. And it's not like we're all in poverty. We all grew up very well. And all 30 of us are, are, have jobs. We're not living on the streets. Some of us have gone to college. Me, myself, my sister, other people in the family have gone to college. Some haven't. Some went on to go be teachers. You know, one of my cousins went on to go be, you know, he raps in he raps in Texas. You know, it's just my sister went on to go get her master's in nursing. I'm doing cyber security. My brother, um, He's, he's working in the oil field, taking care of his his big family of six kids. It's like we all turned out to be okay. And that's based off of one relationship. So to say that it's just, oh, man, if it's a 30-year marriage and it fails, it was a complete waste of time. No, it wasn't. We all got to see two people love each other for 30 years. So it doesn't matter. But people just think because there's a possibility of it ending, that's a reason not to even do it. That's crazy to me. Even me, trust me, I've been through it. Certain similar situations. Like you go into a relationship. I was a relationship where I was, I'm married now, but I had a relationship before where I was going to get married and it didn't work out. Would I do that relationship again? Of course I would, because it was still a good time. We still learned from each other. It wasn't toxic. Now, obviously, if it's a toxic relationship, please get out. But don't go in there with the mindset like, oh, it's never going to work out. Life is about relationships, friends, and family. Pursue that. I promise you, not all of us are going to be millionaires. And it's okay if you want to be a millionaire that bad. Go for it. Fine. But don't burn relationships. Don't burn bridges trying to get to the top. I want to say this one last thing when I was talking about scamming earlier. When some people look at the Wolf of Wall Street, even though that movie, pretty much what the guy says is a lot of it was true, but not all of it. But even that fabrication, right? People think, oh, man, I can do all of this, have all this fun, get all this money, do all these drugs, get all these women. And yeah, maybe I might go to prison, but I'll still come out on top. I still got to have that experience. No, he divorced his wife. And we know the real story. He abused the next wife, the woman he fell in love with, the blonde chick, right? He cheated on her. And then he ended up pushing her down the stairs in the real in real life. Because it was a toxic relationship. It was awful. All that money and all those drugs were not making life better. The movie made it seem like he got by. Like he, he escaped by the hair on his chinny chin chin. It made it seem like it wasn't that bad. But it really was that bad. It was really that awful. That pursuit of money and power ruined that man. It ruined a ton of people's lives. Some of the people who went to jail, they went to jail for much longer. He was one of the big dogs who got jail time, but he had money, he'd get out. Plea deals, all that. But some of the people, they their lives are ruined. They're not coming back out and they're famous. They work for this man. Some of them, I'm sure they knew they were scamming. Some of them, they knew they weren't. But their lives got ruined. They went to jail, came out, broke, probably still broke to this day. And nobody trusts them. Nobody wants to hire them because they knew who he worked for. That's what I'm saying. He ruined all these people's lives. All these people who spent money and got scammed is not that is awful. That is not something you should pursue screwing up other people's lives. I understand you may be the main character in your story, but understand everybody is the main character in their story. So don't treat people like they're not important. You can just do whatever you want because that's not how life goes. Think about everybody else. Okay, I understand thinking about yourself sometimes, but you shouldn't live life thinking, well, as long as I got mine, and that's why I push so hard against 
the porn industry and I push your heart against OnlyFans because y'all always, not always, but some people come in my chat and they think, oh, because they get the bag, what does it matter? But because you can, you're still affecting other people's lives. You're doing something for the sole person of somebody to get addicted to your content and maybe ruin their lives. Now, everybody's grown. We make our own decisions. But understand, when you're doing an OnlyFans, you're not just doing this for adults. There's going to be kids that come in there. And understand, you know, think, well, that's not my fault. Of course. But it's just still something you should think about. It could be just an 18 year old man. Don't know what he's doing. And you're enticing him. You're telling him you're calling that ma that young man baby. You're calling him daddy. You're telling him to give you money. You're telling him he's the best in the world. A confused young man. But nobody thinks about that. But you have to know what you're doing in that OnlyFans. Your job is to persuade, to get people to give you money. That's your job as a sex worker. That's bad. That's what that's the same thing with these men were doing in Wolf of Wall Street. I'm just giving an example, okay? But people who scam Omni and a Hellcat, that's a real man, real story. Scammed all these people. Scammed these corporations. Now it's all gone. And for what? Ten years of luxury for it to all be gone. And he probably ain't never gonna make money like that ever again. That experience is not worth it. Alright, peace.